Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome, welcome back. I'm going to attempt this project today. This is my prototype of one that Margaret over at Seven Plaza did. You can find Margaret on YouTube. I will put links in my video. And I just love it. It's a flippy flappy, pockety, belly bandy thingy, majiggy. Yeah. Uh, Margaret's had seven pockets. Mine has six because I miss one out. But I will put the seventh pocket in this tutorial. We've got one pocket there. We've got a big pocket here that I've put three tags in. I just like the look of those all layered up. We've got a pocket there, one there, one there. And then when you attach this to your page as either a belly band, attach top and bottom, as a pocket attached on two sides or maybe three sides at the edge of a page, it will make the seventh pocket. So we've got a little tag in there. There should be another one behind, but I've glued my opening up. Oh, silly woman. We've got a pocket there, a pocket there. These flip out. Yeah, you can flip them out with or without the tags in. You don't have to put as many tags in as I did. You could get away with just putting one in the bottom. Because what happens, can you see? That tag holds that flap in. The tag in that flap holds that flap in. And yeah, it just all stays closed. Ingenious, Margaret. I love it. So... Yeah, then we've got our last pocket, which is there. You're supposed to be able to see tag through window, but I stuck my paper to the wrong side at window, but I won't do that today. This is my prototype. I normally don't come to camera with <laughs> a dodgy prototype, but I thought this still looked good. So yeah, here's my dodgy prototype. Let's try and get it right on camera, shall we? Yeah, we will. Right. So, Margaret made hers with an A5 envelope that looks just like this. If you're not on the metric system, if you're saying US, uh, an A5, would your equivalent would be, if you got a piece of letter-sized paper and folded it in half, let's pretend that's a piece of letter-sized paper, folded it in half, that's the size of envelope it would be, yeah? Because this is what fits an A4 size, which is our equivalent, it fits that in folded in half. Because I didn't have one of those, I used this. I've got a giant double-sized envelope, which is double. The whole envelope fits an A4 sheet in without folding. So again, in the US, it's what would fit a whole letter-sized sheeting without any folding. And it had a nice size window, so I cut one of these in half to make mine. And I've done that again to make this one. Yeah. So... I'll put that to one side. I mean, even if you had an envelope that didn't have a window, you could make a window. You could cut a window out, yeah? And put some film from any piece of packaging behind it or acetate and you're good to go if you want that look of it being a window envelope when it actually isn't. Right, so this is my starting point. I'll tell you the measurements. It is six and a quarter inches wide by nine inches high. Now first, I'm going to glue my flap down. Now depending on the orientation of your envelope, you'll have a flap on the end or a flap on the top that needs gluing down. I'm going to use my glue stick for this. I think that's quite sufficient. I do love my Elmer's Extreme. It glues anything. See, it does, it glues fabric. And I'm going to put a little line of it along that edge. Yep. I don't want to glue my flap together. No, we don't want to do that. Just put that. That's just my label backing that I use when I'm messing with glue. So that's that. Right, at this point, you would then need to take a sliver off the edge to open it up. Would you? Yeah, that would be open. Yeah, no, you won't. Shut sure. up. Scratch the last 30 seconds because we're going to cut it down each side. Yeah, of course we are. I'm going to cut it down to an equal distance from the window on each side. Now, don't cut it too near the window or you haven't got room to glue. Don't cut it too far away from the window because we need to use this part to make our flippy flaps. So, I'm going to grab my... Grab my charger. That's my charger, it's a trimmer. Right, but before I cut, what I like to do is I like to fold up to make my pocket. So this is the bottom pocket. Yeah, and I'm going to have it there. 
yeah yeah it's it you will have that but don't don't worry once we've trimmed that off the top all that bulk that you get will have gone it will just will it'll disappear I promise you so first thing I'm gonna do is take a sliver off the top whichever size envelope you use you're still gonna need to take that sliver off right then once sliver's gone can you see how the puffy bulkiness is starting to go away when we cut down there it will be gone altogether now what I want to do is take I want to leave I'm gonna leave about half an inch either side of my window so I'm gonna cut there can you see it's about half an inch I'll measure it your exact just as a matter of interest uh, yeah it's half an inch it didn't look half an inch once I took it out that's why I had to measure it then I'm going to measure this one about half an inch I'm saying about because there's no way for me to actually measure it but it's not a measuring project so we've got that have I made this narrower than me that I have but I can live with that I can live we're just gonna have skinnier tags yeah I'll, yeah I'll have a skinny one and then if I ever finish the other one I'll have a fatter one so now we've got this yay right what i'm going to do is i'm going to put some paper in behind that window what i did on my first one is i stuck paper on that side which is just silliness complete silliness and i'm hoping no that's not big enough i could piece it i wanted to put this behind like i did on the one that went to pete tong so yeah, I could put something else at the bottom, I think. I can live with that. You only see it when you take the... T oh, I've got a bigger piece. Oh, I've got a bigger piece of this. All is not lost. I can still use ledger paper behind. Uh, yeah, I just like the look of that. I did book page on my first one. I like that. So I'm just going to mark this with a pencil because I'm going to cut the top flush. And I'll cut that with my trimmer. I could use scissors, but <laughs> mean straight lines when I've not got no to follow with scissors. Although I have actually here, and I've got a great big red line. That's not straight though, is it? That's straight. That'll do me. Straightish. That's all we ever go for. Straightish. I mean, you could make this up with lots of little bits collaged on. Use what you've got. let's move it across don't waste more than we need to so i'm gonna cut this one i'm gonna rip it actually which blue line were it that blue line if i rip it down there this should fit in nicely then i'm gonna rip some off bottom because it only needs to go just below the bottom of my window and then i'm gonna glue glue Glug, glug. Am I am I underwater? I could be. I'm gonna glue it. Why could I not say that? If you want to ink this, make it look a bit grungy, go for it. I don't want to, so I'm not gonna. Simples. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I said that. Right. This would have looked nice other way as well. I love this ledger paper. This is my coveted one ledger book that I've ever bought. I got it pretty cheap on eBay. It's not vin it's not antique, it is vintage. I think it went from 50s. And it's a farm ledger book and I love it. I'm going to make it last me a long, long time. So I'm just lining my top up. The reason I like to do that and keep that straight is it strengthens this a little bit. Because we're going to be gluing this down to our journal page to make our belly band or pockety thingamajig me what's it? Is that anywhere near straight? Yeah, I can live with that. Straight enough. It's straight enough. Right. Now, we're going to make our extra seventh secret pocket. I missed this out when I made mine. Now, if you're going to uh, glue it, I'm going to use this. I want a nice, strong glue. And what we want to do is, if we put a line of glue across there, then this little section here is going to be a little pocket and I'm going to do it there just below the cellophane on my window. Yeah, and do you know before I do that I've missed something out? 
I want to put some notches in. <laughs> so, do you know what? I'm just going to wipe that off so we don't get in trouble. Yeah. Margaret made a mistake about this point, so I am being very authentic. Right. So I want to put a thumb notch in there. That's going to be a nightmare to get me punching when it's all put together. I'm using my one inch circle punch. So it's that bit because when we fold it up, that is there. Yeah. And I want a thumb notch in top. So I'm going to do that as well. Yay. Whew. So pretend I didn't forget to put the thumb notches in. And now we're back to doing the gluing. So we're gluing just along the bottom of the plastic because this is going to give us a nice little secret pocket. Yeah. And we're going to glue all the way down on this side because that's going to give us the back of the pocket. Oh, that went in a bit. That's going to narrow me. Pock it down. Ooh. I can't glue straight today to save my life. And then this time just glue along the window edge. So can you see we've glued around three sides of the window and then just down that bit. I'm sure that's how she did it. We'll see if it goes right this is how she did it. So Yeah, I also need to glue along here. You numpter, you need to glue all the way down to there to seal that pocket up and all. Oh, I'm getting glue everywhere. I promise you this project is so worth it. So then we just fold that up, that and that. Can you see? That all then comes back flush at the top. We press it down. Now, on these edges, they're all sealed. Yep. Whoosh. Now, before I do any more gluing, I'm going to come in and do a bit of inking. Yep. That looks good. I'm using my uh, walnut stain in an oxide because I like the colour. Use whatever you prefer. If you don't want to ink, you don't have to ink. This will please the people who said they like to watch me ink because I know sometimes I pause while I ink. If I've got loads to ink, I'll pause. Just gonna do around the edge of my little thumb notch. And same on this one. There we have it right now. Oh, go along there. I'm not gonna thumb notch that because it'll eat into that pocket space. Right. All's going well so far. Now I'm going to glue up there and there to make this pocket. Whee. I've made one, right, This at this point I have made one like this before with a full width envelope but I didn't put any flippy flaps on. That's the genius part of this. Those flippy flaps and now they're all held in with the tags. I love it. So, right. At this point, we're going to use the bit, you know, the wider part that we cut off. That was either that side or that side. I forget which. This is what we're going to make our two little flippy flaps with. If I get my prototype... Yeah, that flap and that flap, we're going to use this piece to make them. Yeah, so can you see, even though this is narrower, there's no measuring, so it doesn't matter that you get that a particular width. I'll tell you width on these, just while we're talking widths, in case you're interested. That one's two and seven eighths, and this one I've made, because I chomped it different, is just over two and a half it's two and uh five eighths yeah well either will be just as good right if you want to stamp it this is the part i think margaret stamped hers before if you want to stamp everything pop over and have a look what margaret did i haven't i think she used a coffee stain white envelope as well i've gone for the craft one and i like to see plenty of the craft color 
So I did do some stamping, but before that I put my flaps on and just collaged a little bit of paper. So I've got this piece here. Now we've already got that bend. I'm going to use that bend, take advantage of that. Right, so I'm tucking that behind there. And then I'm going to mark this because I'm going to cut this for my first flap. Oh, my phone made a noise and it made me jump. <laughs> I'm a very jumpy person. So I'm going to cut that there. Get the choppy chopper out. So if you want to measure it, it needs to be same width as your belly band. Right now, that one, I haven't got a bend in it yet, so I'm going to. Can you see? I'm, I'm moving your chopper because it looks like you're about to chop your wrist off. And I'm going to fold that one up in the same place. I'm not going to fold it all the way over yet. So that's going to go there. <laughs> Is that going to go? That's going to go there. No, ah, I need to fold it other way because that's the opening in the envelope at top. So. Somehow I've made that a bit long, don't know how I did that. Then that one goes there. You're getting the gist now, aren't you? Yeah? Don't matter if you don't cover everything up. You want the top one a little bit down from the top so that you can put a notch and a tag in. I may have to just trim that down. We're making this narrower. I've made these quite tall. So let's get this chippy chopper out. I'm just going to make that a little bit. No, it didn't cut all the way. My chopper's getting a bit blunt. It's because I cut through all sorts that I'm not supposed to on this. Really, I've had, had a good innings. I've been using it a couple of years. And it's had some use on video, despite all use off video. I'm just going to come in and cut that. That's going to tuck around and glue. Some short end that one's cutting down as well. Hope you know what I did then. I've just sort of rushed through that. So we've got an opening there at the top. Same with that one. Yeah. Now they fit a little bit better because I've just narrowed those down a bit. Yeah. I also think I need to cut a little bit off the length or adjust my crease. I'm going to adjust my crease. I can't be bothered to get the chopper back out. Let's have a look see. Yeah, that comes just nicely to the edge now. This is why I don't come in with bone folders too early when I'm creasing stuff. Because if you need to just alter your creases a little bit, it's much easier to do if you've not had that bone folder on making them permanent. And that's that one, yeah. Now I'm going to grab my bone folder. And then I just nearly said a stupid word that doesn't exist. And I'm going to permanentize these creases. What on earth? That's another one from our dictionary, isn't it? Permanentize your creases. Crazy woman. Right, I'm going to get my thumb notch. One inch circle punch. Make sure I've got these. One going one side and one going other. And I'm going to punch my little notch out for there. Lord knows how long this video is going to go on for. The way I'm waffling about. So that's that. And then I'm just going to do a bit of inking before I do my gluing. Because that's easier before you've glued. As you can see, I can do it after gluing. I managed it okay. Oh my giddy aunt, I just paused to see why my phone were beeping and guess why it were beeping? It were beeping to tell me that I'd run out of memory but I think you've missed about just me saying I'm going to pause my phone to see why it's beeping so lucky thump. I don't know, I have sound on on my phone when I'm videoing, I forgot to turn it off. So normally when <laughs> uh, I run my uh, memory's full I don't hear and I carry on talking to no one in particular. Right, that's how far we've got. We've done that inking. I'm now just going to glue these two closed, just here. Just a little line of glue. And then same on that one. I've turned this upside down because I find it easier to put my glue on on the right hand side. There we go. 
and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here on the flappy flaps. Just to stick those together. Then we're going to stick these flippy flaps to the back of our envelope pocket belly band thingamajiggy what's it so which way do i want that i can't remember which way they flapped open i think yeah that one flapped that way and that one flapped that way so we'll do the same so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put glue here i'm going to cover oh yeah and i'm going to pop that like so Make sure it's hutched up nicely there. I don't know why it doesn't look straight. It looks straight before I uh, put glue on. don't know what happened there. There we go. That's straight enough. That's my same foot there. Straight enough. Well, same foot ever. One of my hairs there. We don't want that included. Where's it gone? Oh, I had my hair cut last week and I'm still losing little bits of hair. I think the bits that fell off in my craft room between me having it cut and then having my first shower. I haven't gone a week without a shower, I do promise you. Right, that's still not straight, so I'm just going to come in and... There we go, I'm an happy bunny now. And I'll stick this one on. Whee. You don't see this back because you're going to use it as a belly band or a pocket. So we've just got a little peek, as Margaret said there, as to something being behind. Ooh. Um, that's what the back looks like, but that is going to be stuck down. If you're not happy, like I'm not happy that I didn't get any glue there, just come in and do it. That one's not too bad, but I want a bit more. There we go. I'm not bothered about getting glue where it shouldn't be and have it, having it shiny because we won't see it. And there we have that. I like it. So those flaps are flippy flapping a bit. If I just nobble some of the tags from my other, you'll see what happens. Yeah, look at that. How cute. Then if we pop... I've lost my other tags. Where's they gone? Oh, this is a spare tag. Oh, it's too wide, isn't it? Because this is narrower. Then, yeah, so let's do a bit of decorating now. We've done all the uh, technical bits, and I have now got that uh, my secret seventh pocket. This is the one that the other one didn't have. De -de 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 -de. That's just a secret pocket, you don't know it's there. I've got some glue I didn't want to be on that. Yeah, it's all right. There we go. So, one, two, three, four five six is the secret one and then seven is behind it when you glue it to your page Ta -da! we have seven pockets right i'm going to decorate this one a little bit more colorfully uh, over the last few days i've just i weren't getting into my crafting so i did some uh, master boards just collaging onto these were digitals i knew i were never going to use in a million years they got a uh, tea dyed uh, print on one side and things I were not going to use on other so I've collaged over them. I did one just in text and music paper and I used that to make the tags for my prototype and I did one in text and botanicals and then I did one just in botanicals. So I'm going to do a bit of collaging on here with some of the botanical pages. These are pages I took from my concise British flora. My one copy that I'm still using and I've been using it for two years. Uh, it is running a bit dear again at the minute. I think cheapest in UK is about £15. But it's so gorgeous. And it lasts so long. When I think of... I can't even show you a book. Where have I put it? I think I've took all my... Oh, wait, I've got it. I'll show you. Because someone's bound to ask me, aren't they? What this book looks like. Most of my pages have gone. This is it. The Concise British Flora. It's got lots of pages. I've took most of my botanical ones out now. And I've got them in a box. I've still got my index pages. But if I think for £15, does that, have, does that have a lot more real estate than a paper pad? 
and I think yeah it's still a bargain so I know some won't pay £15 for a second hand book but I prefer it to brand new paper pads sometimes and that's how I gauge will I pay that and I still think £15 for that's a bargain so that's what it looks like the concise British flora in colour you can get it on Amazon, eBay uh, places like A Books or other big booksellers or if you want Lucky Bunny you'll cop for it in a charity shop for a pound I've never been that lucky I'm lucky in other ways but getting my books in a charity shop for a pound no, that doesn't happen to me. Anyway, short waffling and get uh, collaging. And I'm just going to rip some bits off. I don't want to cover the whole amount, the whole pocket. So I'm going to get ripping and sticking. I want ripped edges and straight edges. I'll show you why. Uh, I'll put this down here now. I want that straight edge up there. I'm going to ink around it in much the same way can you see how I did with the pieces of that were dictionary pages on there but I'm using botanicals for a change change it up a bit I've got my little glue page back I'm not getting the big chompy glue book out because I always end up sticking things to it so do we want that we want that coming from the top of that page there we go. So it's just a hint of botanicals. Oh, I think I may put that one. I might put that one there. Or there. Or there. <laughs> it's a big decision, isn't it? I don't know which way up it went at first place. I'm going to pop it there, I think. I like it. But you use what you have. Once you've got the basic construction done, you can decorate it how you want. You can stamp it, you can ink it, you can do a mixture of collage, you can make perfect little matted pieces. What does Tim Alt say? You do you. There's always one more than one way to skin a rabbit as we surround here. I like that and I think I'm going to have a piece coming in from that bottom corner on there I don't want that I just don't want that because it's just a root it's a boring root I think I want a pink piece so I'm going to cut, no, cut it there and I'm going to rip See how I've done it? I want that piece there. Yeah. And then what I did is I used my um, field notes set of stamps by Timmy Holtz again. My most used set of stamps ever. I've never used a set of stamps as much as I've used those. I used to do a lot of card making and you get a lot of free stamps on card making magazines in the UK and you tend to use a stamp once and then just stash it. I'm a little bit more um, choosy about the stamps I buy. I try and only buy stamps and I'm going to use a lot. So here are the ones if you've not seen them. This is our store mine. I bought some A5 plastic wallets with zips on. They do just zip up, but I use these too often to bother. And I just put them in there. So, <laughs> yeah, wallet just fell out the floor. And then I come in and do some stamping. But I think I feel I want another piece of botanical paper on that first. Where's my big chunk of it gone? Yeah, I'll have something with a leaf on. Yeah, I'll just rip that down. And have it coming in from that edge. Yes, I like that. Do you know, I can't remember offhand. I, I think Margaret collaged the whole thing. And she put labels on, yeah, she didn't tickets in green. That's where I got the idea to use the green tabs. Because the, the green she used was so lovely. And that green, it's pieces of file folder I do have them listed on my Amazon storefront 
the price of them in UK went down to £5 for a pack of 50 last week and now it's back up to about £20. Crazy. So if you uh, people in the US are after them, keep an eye on Amazon UK because when they go down to £5, it then works out cheaper. I know it does because a few ladies have done it to buy them from UK and pay about $15 postage because sometimes there's silly prices over in US. I'm quite liking that. Right, I'm going to grab my stamps now. I've got enough paper on. I'm not decorating that. I like the look of the brown. I'm going to put some paper on the back there from... This is what I do. I take blank pieces from... I quite often use cover pages, but that one's going to be okay. I'm going to rip just under the flutterby moth or whatever he is. And I'm going to put that on as a piece of journaling space. It just looks a bit more interesting than the plain brown background, doesn't it? Right. Bring your glue page back in again, woman. We'll glue that on. I think I don't, I don't I sometimes worry I'm not explaining myself right when my brain's not connecting but today I really am so yeah <laughs> if you enjoy craft with me maybe you need to watch it three times to see what on earth I'm actually doing I don't know and I'm gonna find another piece of book page that is blank what's this That's, yeah, I can get a nice blank piece from there, but ooh, I don't want to. Oh, that piece I'm going to use. Yeah, I didn't want to interfere with picture on the other side of that. Rip this with your ruler if you're more confident. Cut it with your trimmer. I'm just into this old randomness lately. I don't know what's going to me. I really don't. See, it's a bit too big, so I'm just going to nibble it down a little bit. I'll take that other straight edge off. That should sort us out. How's that? Smidging off there. And a smidging off there. Yeah, that'll do us. I'm liking the ink around the edge look to it. And let's glue it. I don't know what I've done there. It's like I've took a chunk of it off, isn't it, silly woman? Let's try and, yeah, <laughs> spread it out and use it. Look after your tools, she says, abusing hers. I'm going to put the straight bit up to there. Yeah. So we've just got two little bits there. I'm going to have to pause just to wash my hands. I've got so much glue on them. Yeah, that's got rid of it. So, get it off your window. There you go. I'm liking. I'm liking. Right. Next, a bit of stamping and then we shall make our tags. Which I'm going to make from one of those collage masterboards. You can make your tags from anything you want. Uh, but collage masterboards are something I do when I've got no inspiration whatsoever. Right, I'm going to stamp in these. I got these. I spent my Amazon gift card that I got from all you kind people buying your things off Amazon. I get my commission in the form of a gift voucher. And I bought these mini archival links. So I'm going to use this vintage photo one. It is, uh, it's permanent dye ink. Uh, it's just in the Distress Ink colour range by Timothy Holtz. Right, so. I've turned these over so you can see what I'm picking. Are they in shot? Are we in shot? Yeah, we're in shot. Move the right at work, you don't need it. Here we go. Right, we're half organised now. We're not glaring. So I'm just going to pick some of these. I know I want to use the round one because it just looks good. I may use part of that one. 
I did use that label. Yeah, I, I like that blank label. If you don't have the bigger set of the labels, you've got two of them in here. And then I stamped another stamp in. I like it. I think I might stamp that there. And I'm not using um, acrylic blocks. I'm just, these are quite chunky, sturdy rubber stamps. On something like this, I don't mind if it doesn't stamp perfectly. So I'm just going in randomly. That's there. I'm very tempted to put that one on there. Yeah, go for it. It fell out, so it wants to be used. There we go. I like. And I may want to put that butterfly one there. Yeah, but what I'm going to do so I don't get it coming off there onto there, I'm just going to fold that out. And it's a moth near a butterfly. I've not stamped the whole stamp up. And I'm going to pop that there. Oh yeah, I like it. I like the hit and miss look when I'm doing something grungy. I'm going to grab some random numbers. And I think I want that going down that side. Ooh, I stamped that one pretty bright. That stands out. Not going to miss that away. I like that number. And I'm going to put that there. And I want something to put middle of that. I don't know what fits. Does that fit? Yeah, that fits. But then we've got another bold number there, haven't we? Maybe I want something more delicate. Yeah, like this one. Is that the same one I put on other? Yeah, it is. <laughs> I must like putting that one inside the label. There we go. I'm just leaving these all uncleaned. I'll clean them all together after the video. But I will put the lid on my little what's it. What else we got? What should we use? Fig one and fig two. I mean, you can go to town. You can... Uh, I think I want to put that there. No, I don't want it sideways that way. Because we've got a sideways one there. It would have looked a bit odd. Now, I think that might just be enough stamping. And then I did stamp something there so it peeks out under that. And the last time I used Destination, but that's too long. But I've got this one here. Ooh corresponding order will that fit yeah i'm going to stamp that there and i'm going to do this upside down just because i can't see whether it's going to be even nearly straight oh <laughs> use an acrylic ink pad if you my fingers didn't want to get that stamp i just want to put that straight ish watch it be as wonky as a donkey's back leg Oh, that turned out pretty good. Turned out nice to get onto it. And oh, I like that, I really do. Pretty, pretty. And we just see the corresponding, we open it up and we see the order. Yay. Right, so that's that. Next thing I want to do is make some tags. I'll put, they're all falling out. I'm going to have to start storing these differently because they have been used a lot. Or oh, they need cleaning, maybe they just need a clean. Who knows? Right, I'm going to grab one of my master boards again. I think I want to use the one that's got, um, yeah, botanicals and writing. But I've already decided I want that showing in that window. So this is going to be, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. So I'm going to guesstimate for now. I need to cut it about there. Yeah? So first, I'm going to cut it hmm, along there. I'm not worried that I might end up with bits that aren't suitable for this project. I'm, I've just gone in and I've chopped. It's, it's a collaged piece of card. You can always do another. So, yeah. I'm then going to cut it about there.
Mm -hmm. Right, now, because I don't know how big that tag wants to be. If you've ever seen me use these before, I have these templates. And I don't think any of these are going to be right size. I will... No, I don't think I've ever made a skinny enough template for this. But that might be skinny enough. So that piece of card is three and three quarter inches long and one and three quarter wide. I'm going to test it for width in here. One and three. It wants to be a little bit wider. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps one and three quarter plus a sixteenth of an inch is going to be the wide, the width that's going to fit in there nicely. As far as the height goes, I'm winging it. I'm going to wing that. So put. That to one side. I'm going to now turn this upside down because it wants to be one and three quarters and a sixteenth. So what does that even translate to? One and three quarters and a sixteenth. It's um, yeah, one and fifteen sixteenths. And I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than that because I want to nibble a little bit more off that edge. I'm going to cut it to two. Let's try and see if it fits at two inches wide. No, it's too wide. Don't want to go in at all. So I'm going to nibble a sixteenth of an inch off there and then see if that's going to be okay. It's a bit tight, so I'm going to take a smidgen more off. And I'm going to go off that side because I don't want to cut into that yummy flour at bottom. So this is why measurements are important. Your measurement will vary depending on how wide your envelope is. Don't be afraid to just go in and chop your stuff up. Right, it only goes down to there this time, that. But look at what I've got showing in my window. I am so happy with that. So I'm going to cut that off round about a little bit lower down than height at window so grab my pencil again which i found straight away which is shocking if you've ever seen my desk at this point and cut that oh that's lovely i like pretty pretty that could not have worked out better. And it was a happy accident. But so many things are, aren't they? You've just got to try it and see. There might not have been anything on that masterboard that would have been good. And I made the masterboard when I didn't even know what I was going to be using it for. I've just knocked a load more stuff on the floor. I'm just going to ink that round. I'll do it back off camera. You really don't need to see me more, do more inking than necessary. And then I've got to decide what tag, tab, I want to put on top. And I don't know, what did I put on other ones? Oh, I put the, um, I've got some ready. I put some of these on. And I think I'm going to put that one on a smaller one. I put a bigger one on there. Is it that size? I'll put the links, um, yeah, in the description for the dies that cut these. Or use any tabs, you don't need these ones. Whee. I don't know if I like that big tab on this with it all being skinnier. No, I don't. I want the smaller one, so I think that for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Yeah, I like that better. Uh, they, these are pre-inked. I did them when I made my first one when I didn't know what I was putting on what. I'm so happy with how that looked. One happy bunny. Mm. Yeah, thank you again to everyone who's ever who has expressed your condolences and lovely words about my little kitty cat Phoebe. Yeah, we're... Uh, yeah, oh, that I won't. I won't get all emotional then. I just actually, <coughs> yeah, yeah. It it is sad, very sad. But I'm not. I'm not in bits anymore. My youngest daughter has taken it the hardest. 
she's the one with autism because whenever she was stressed she would sit with Phoebe. It got to a point where whenever Phoebe sat on so uh, whenever Rachel sat on the sofa, Phoebe sat on Rachel. So yeah. Anyway, enough about that. Right, oh I'm really happy with how that came out. So I'm gonna use the rest of my masterboard to make some little tags for these. And because these fit lovely no, they don't, they're too wide. Oh, they still fix, I made them narrower. I might just pinch those. Tell you what, I'll keep you with me while I cut this up so you can see how I do it. Right, I'm looking at this now and I'm thinking that that acorn will be nice on a tag. So I think I might want the acorn on that tag there. And I'm looking, if I cut it about there and up there, then I've got two tags i know the maximum width i want is it can be a bit wider on there so i'm going to cut it to two inches wide and see how it fits perfect yeah so we can have a lovely yellow flower on one tag and an acorn on the other well let's have a look how high is that that is just over two inches, so I'm going to cut my tag to just over two inches as well. I'm not being totally perfect with these. So that's an acorn. And that's a little yellow flower. Pretty, pretty. Yeah. So all I'm going to do to those is round the corners and stick a tab on. And then they're done. I've now got to make a tag to go in there, one to go in there. I think I want a short one and a long one again in there. I like having more than one tag in. So let's get this other piece. It won't, I'm gonna have to take it sideways on to get my long tag and it's not gonna have any botanical bits on, but I can live with that. So I'm going to cut that again to just under, I'll do it to one inch and, one inch and 15 sixteenths. Yeah. That should fit in that pocket. Oh, that's not glued down very good, is it? Might end up chopping that off anyway, but I'll glue it. But that happens when you've made collages. There are little bits that have missed glue. Yeah, I think I want the yellow on the top, so I'm going to cut a bit off the top. I don't want that really blank bit. So I want that tag to end about there. So I'm going to cut that off just about where that purple flower is. I'll do it just under the purple flower. So that's going to be one tag and that other half is going to be the other tag sorted. Then I want one in there. So I've got this piece left. It's just got a little bit of fern on it. That looks good. So I'm going to cut that. It's as though I collaged this with this in mind and I so didn't. I don't even think it would have been possible, would it? to collage this and be psychic enough to know how I'm going to cut it up and then I want a little piece to go in the secret pocket you know the secret pocket that I forgot to put on my other ones <laughs> so what could I use I'm wanting to keep that bit intact and that bit so have I got any other off cuts I could do I'll, I'll do what Margaret did she popped a ticket in there and it looks so good so I'm going to grab my ticket box out and see, I think these will be too long, but maybe maybe a green one of those will be better. But oh, perfect! This is a vintage one from is it a Rotherham one? This I can't remember, I don't think it says. There we go, we can leave that just sticking out there. Love it! How easy was that? When you're cutting up, don't worry if you cut it wrong. It'll always end up going in somewhere else. It will. 
So I'm just going to round all these corners with my medium one. And while I do that, I am going to pause because I need a cup of tea because I've just rabbited so I've no idea how long this video is. Perhaps three hours long. I don't know. I don't. So I'm going to round these, ink them, and then I'll come back to stick the tabs on with you. So two ticks. And I'm back. So what I've done is I've just rounded the edges. I have, I must confess, the tag that was going to go there just looked so plain. I cut another piece out that had a piece of flour on because I just couldn't take it. I've die cut my little tabs that I'm going to use from my green file folder pieces. And let's stick them on and pop them in. And it just makes it look so different once you get these on. Yeah. I had to use these when I saw Margaret use them. I'm a bit like that. We all suffer from that, don't we? We see somebody make something like, yeah, got to use that. Got to do it exactly the same. So I did do some pieces different, but I had to use the same tabs as I had them. Because they look cute. I think I want to put all small ones on. Yeah. I think I do. I'll put small ones on these two that go in here. What's that? Whee! Two ticks. What's that, Baba? You can open the big box. That's the new Monopoly. Yeah, and that one's yours, Becca. Just sorting out Amazon deliveries. I knew it was the for kids. Yeah. Becca needed new pen pots. So we bought some plant pots to hang off at the bottom. They've got them high sleeper beds, so it'll give her a bit more desk space if she uses, you know, the little plant pots with a hook on, on bar at the bottom of a bed above a desk. So that'll give her some more desk space. I'm sticking that wrong one while I'm talking. And Rachel is, we wanted a new Monopoly. We love Monopoly. And the Friends Monopoly on Amazon had gone down to £15 which sometimes they're like 30 quid, so it's like, got to have it. It's got to be had. Let's have a new Monopoly. So that's where it rests at gift voucher went. And I did buy myself some ink. All right, that's that. Put another little one on there. I've pre-inked these as well, just to save a little bit of boredom time. So... Yeah, I could have paused to sort that out, but you know what? I couldn't be bothered. That's a common theme with me lately. I just can't be bothered. Just crack on, do it, do it. And this one. My, my finger, I didn't wash my hands while I was paused. My hands are now very inky and very gluey. If I were to clap, I might be stuck together forever. But I have no intention of clapping. <laughs> Oh, I like that. That's so cute. Now that one, you see, that's sticking out. We'll hold that down. Not as much as it did with wide tab on, to be fair, but if you don't stick it all the way in, it will. Then we stick these in. Oh, look how good they look. And I'm going to put this on as well. Uh, I'll put the medium sized tag on that. I know on that one I went big because this comes in three sizes. I went big, medium, little, but I just didn't think the big one would look good on this with it being skinnier. So I haven't used it. So I'm going to use medium and little. Not sure what I'm going to stick on that one yet. I can't decide. Main decisions do not uh, see eye to eye at times. <laughs> You decide. No, you decide. When the decision's down to just me, it's like, ah, oh, it's got to be done. you got to do it. That will pop in there. Oh, I like. I really like. Oh, I do like it. I like I can see that number there. That weren't planned. Happy accident. I love, I love it when a plan comes together. And I think I'm going to put one of these on this end one to match that. Yeah, I've got one inked up already. Just fold it. Just need to ink that crease. Glue it. I'm really liking this. I 
I think my mojo's come back. Thank you, Margaret. I had no mojo last week. Mojo not occurring. <laughs> and I've been wanting to do one of Margaret's projects for quite a while. She has done a couple of mine and I wanted to return the favour. Yes, so if you do have time, bob along and see her. She's just completed the 100 day project and this is this is not even close to how fabulous some of her projects are. I love the style she has with decorating as well. So, that's I love it. I, I like it better than my prototype, yeah? And I managed to get all seven pockets. So one, two, three, four behind, five, six with a secret pocket, and seven will be your belly band when you've done. Oh, I really like that. Let's watch it flip. Flip, flip. I love how that sat. That was so lucky. It was just a project full of happy accidents, this, weren't it? Oh, I really hope you've enjoyed it. I know a lot of you like the longer waffly videos, so you'll all be happy. Rest of you, you've gone, haven't you? So, not talking to people who aren't here. So, right. I think I'm going to put me, um, I'll put a couple of my bloopers on end, so... Here go. I'll see you next time. Stick around for bloopers if you want to. So, thank you. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Craft Designs. Welcome, welcome back. I'm here today with this little flippy, floppy, floppy, flappy, flumby. Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Craft Designs. I'm here today with this little flippy, flappy, uh, foldy, what's it, thingy. Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with this flippy flappy, <laughs> flippy flappy flappy, oh my word. It's a thing made from envelopes with pockets and tags, end of. Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with this flippy flappy seven pocket, Envelope foldy pockety thingy with made from an envelope. Oh my word. Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with this flippy flappy uh foldy <laughs> I don't know what it is, it's just it's it's for a junk journal. <laughs> 